sometimes people worry when they hear us talking because they think that we're encouraging mass murderers and we say no one ever does anything like that when they're in alignment with source so if someone is having those kinds of experiences you've got to know they're completely out of whack and usually the reason that they are so out of whack if you follow the history of the serial killers or those who are doing those what you call dastardly deeds to society or to individuals what you will find in every case is that they were someone who was being misunderstood who was being touted who was being controlled who was being misunderstood who was being punished by a society who did not understand what unconditional love is and so it just perpetuates more and more and more there is a war against crime and more crime every day there is a war against teenage pregnancy and more teenage pregnancy every day everything that you push against becomes more because the pattern of vibration holds stronger and stronger and stronger so you just have to come to the place where you have to individually decide I want to feel good and if you're tending to the thoughts then you'll never get to the action in other words if you're having thoughts of unworthiness and thoughts of rage and revenge and someone is counseling you into soothing yourself and you're finding alignment with who you are it's not going to escalate into taking a gun and killing someone but if you're feeling revenge and rage and somebody says to you you're wrong in feeling that and you need to get control of your emotions and they're not explaining what your emotions are law of attraction is going to help that rage get more and more and more until the next logical step is some sort of violence which then as a society in a whole you push against all the stronger and lock them up and condemn them and speak of them disrespectfully you see nice to know isn't it nobody has to know this but you in order for you to live happily ever after if you found someone in the street bleeding we know you'd help them if you find someone in the street writhing in agony and wielding a gun you don't feel so inclined to help them out even though they're asking in the same way that they would if they were bleeding and if you want to know how source feels about them source is adoring them but they're so blocked off they can't hear it and that's why they're behaving the way they do when life causes you to ask for something in a really strong way and you find vibrational attitudes and ways of living that keep you from hearing it or feeling it then you want it and want it and want it but you're blocking it blocking it blocking it it's logical isn't it doesn't that make perfect sense of everything that you see in the world once you understand that it doesn't take many to stand in a place and it's easier if you have your distance from them where you are focusing upon them through the eyes of source Esther notices that as she writes with Jerry who is non-physical or Abraham who is non-physical she can feel when she asks for guidance about something that she's dealing with she can feel an absolute awareness of where she is and an absolute non-attachment to the negative emotion that she feels that's what step five living is it's understanding that stuff happens but not letting it take you off of your balance as you're observing it and not feeling guilty about being in the middle of it because it's part of the process of expansion you see really good conversation yeah do you feel a need to control those that you fear would harm you or your family it's sort of a logical thing to want to at least keep them away from you but they won't come for you if someone's agitated and in that place and you're in a place of love they're not going to come for you vibrationally inaccurate they don't find you they find those who are in the same hatred have you ever heard someone say the dog bites those who are afraid of it well that's why because that fear is a vibration of aggravation it's a big conversation someday we'll all get together and we'll talk about this for about two days 